Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Well, overnight, the Australian dollar bulls weren't backing down once again and took the challenge back to the top side of the range and briefly printed a high of 71.51 before being rejected. As you can see from the rejection, the supply is still quite high from this region of 71.50 to 65. It is assessed that I still hold the view that the market will sell off with the immediate target of 70.80, while we continue to see rejections from this region of 71.50, 65. Since the break of 112.50, the dollars uh, index that is has been weak and overnight the market did post a fresh low after tumbling to a, tar uh, just to a support level of 96.43 with a low posted of 40. It is assessed that the market breaking under 96.40 would give further extension to the downside and give a target of 95.70 which in turns would see another test to the upside. I'm not ruling out at this stage that we could see one more attempt at 112.95 to 113.10, purely for the fact is that the MACD has married up with the RSI. Later, we do have the Federal Open Market Committee minutes. It is assessed the market will be looking very closely to see whether or not if they are swaying more to dovish and see if Trump has actually put in further pressure after recently saying that uh, the 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 Federal Bank is slowing down the situation after recently hiking rates. He said there is no inflation and therefore I think they should drop rates and get rid of quantitative tightening. Also later today we have the ECB announcement. It is widely expected that the rates won't be changed and after the recent dovish tone could still see a slightly weaker euro. So therefore, I am looking to sell into rallies towards 1.1295 to 1.1310. Well, as you can see, dollar yen has weakened further and posted a fresh weekly low of 1.1097 and now closer to its objective of 1.1070 to 80. A break beneath there would give further exposure to the downside and look towards a target of 1.0955. Any advances should still find a cap from 1.116085. With all the talks going on in, with the Brexit overnight, the pound was once again, to no surprise, very whipsawed. And again, we, as you can see from this descending triangle, the market has rejected the, the resistant line, which comes in roughly around 130 to 130.15. It is assessed, though, that a break beneath 129.70 would give a measured move from this descending triangle, from this top to the bottom, to a target of 125.55. So keep an eye on that if you are trading and looking for a short-term trade, because I believe the market from this descending triangle is posing further threat, as the MACD still remains negative. Well, safe haven demand did increase overnight for gold, and as we now wait for the FRMC minutes, which is tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Sydney time, is the fact is that the gold has actually progressed further to the upside, breaking through 1,300 and exposing the pathway now towards a target of 1,312. With support seen at 1,295 to 97, it is ascertained as that the fact that the marriage between the MACD and the RSI has strengthened a little, therefore could see further gains. And look, maybe from 12 to extending to 24. What would trigger this, though, is if we see the dollar index breaking through 96.40, as the target is, as I mentioned before, is at 95.70. And wrapping up with oil, the market is backing away slightly from this $64 a barrel, but not as much. I would like to see a little bit more of the RSI coming out of the overbought region to support any rebound. So let's see how the market plays into the next 24 hours. So that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intraday report. And I hope you enjoy the great start to the new day.